Hi, my name is Annabelle Jadinata from Year 11 Passion. My tata -ta -ta physics will be on Li-Fi, where I will be creating an audio transmission through light experiment. The full form of Li-Fi is light fidelity. It is basically a wireless communication technology which uses light as data transmission, compared to Wi-Fi which uses radio waves as data transmission. So let's get started. Materials. First, you'll need a solar panel, a 9 volt battery connector, wires, a 220 ohm resistor, LED light, audio jack, cardboard, and a 9 volt battery. The tools that you'll need are a soldering iron and a glue gun. Now, let's jump into the process. First, we will be building the Li Fi receiver. So, you'll get an audio cable and you'll have to cut like here. So we will have to expose the wires inside by cutting through the insulation. Inside, you will find four different wires. The red wire is the audio, the blue wire is for the right speaker, the green wire is for the left speaker, and the bronze wire is the ground wire. In this experiment, we wouldn't need the red wire, so I will be cutting that off. Now we are left with three wires, and I will be combining both the blue and green wire. So at the end, you should be left with the left and right speaker wire and the ground wire. Now I'll just like burn this together. This is the final result. So now we are left with the ground wire and the speaker wire. So you have to make sure that the ground one is going to the negative and the joint blue and green wire is now to the positive. Here I soldered the wires to the solar panel. A good safety precaution is to keep a fan nearby to minimize direct inhalation of fumes. So the ground wire is to the negative one and the blue and green one is to the positive one. Next, I will be making a cardboard stand to hold the Li-Fi receiver in place. And then a speaker is going to be attached here. Now we can move on to building the Li-Fi transmitter. So first, I will prepare the audio jacks once again by repeating the process. First, I will expose the wires inside and then cut off the audio cable, which is the red wire, and then join both the blue and green wire, which are the left and right speaker wires, to end up with a joint speaker wire and the ground wire. With that done, I will now arrange the circuit before soldering. So the setup should look like. The ground wire should be connected to the LED, and then the other one should be connected connected to a 220 ohm resistor, then to the 9 volt battery connector, later we'll like, put a battery there, and then the other left to right speaker wire will be connected to the black. So it's a whole complete circuit. Now I will solder all the parts together. Now I will be making a cardboard stand once again to hold the Li-Fi transmitter. And next, I assembled all the components together. This is the final result. So I tested it out again and it didn't work, the light will light up. So after testing with this battery and another connector and connecting at a different point, I realized that I switched to these red and black wires. It should be connected the other way around. So I will be doing that now. So this is the final circuit, there's a light bulb here, resistor, and the black and white is important, and a 9 volt battery. Now I will reassemble everything back into place. Let's test it out. It's a speaker and a phone. Yeah. 
Ooh, there's the light. And hopefully, like. <laughs> It's very faint, but you can hear it. You can hear it, but it's really faint. So you can hear the audio coming out from here. So as you can see, I hope you can hear, the audio comes out from here. So how exactly does it work? When an electrical current is applied to an LED light bulb, a stream of lights, photons, is emitted from the bulb. LED bulbs are semiconductor electronic devices, which means that the current and brightness of light flowing through them can be changed at extremely high speeds. This allows us to send a signal by modulating the light at different rates. The signal can then be received by a photodetector, which is a solar panel, which converts it back into electrical current and interprets the changes in light intensity as data. In short, this happens because the Li-Fi transmitter will transmit the audio signals from your phone through light from the LED to the Li-Fi receiver that is a solar panel. The solar panel will then collect these Li-Fi signals and send them to the speaker. Then, the speaker will amplify these Li-Fi signals and convert them to audio signals again. So yeah, that's how it works. So in what ways are Li-Fi better than Wi-Fi? First is in terms of the data transmission speeds. Li-Fi can transfer data at a rate of 100 to 224 gigabytes per second. Wi-Fi on the other hand has a maximum of 100 megabytes per second. This is due to the fact that the visible light spectrum is 100 times larger than the RF spectrum, which is only about 300 gigahertz. Second is data density. Wi-Fi works slower in areas with high volume of users. Li-Fi, on the other hand, works well in dense environments as each visible light communication light source can deliver the same speed, even with multiple users. So what are the possible applications for Li-Fi? First is underwater communication. Traditional Wi-Fi can't be used underwater since radio waves get absorbed by the water. Li-Fi, on the other hand, uses light for data transmission. As visible light could penetrate deep into the water, Li-Fi can be used for underwater communication. As of now, the biggest disadvantage of Li-Fi technology is its coverage distance. As light can't pass through walls, the signal's range is limited by physical barriers. Li-Fi is probably not the replacement of Wi-Fi technology anytime soon. Instead, it is an incredible companion for it. By positioning Li-Fi as a complementary technology to Wi-Fi, this promising technology will take wireless connectivity to new heights.